Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Science Intellectual. In our earlier video, we discussed about section 6 and section 7 under chapter 3 Indian Patents Act 1970. In this video, we are covering another two sections under chapter 3. Those sections are section 8 and section 9 and we are covering those sections along with their relevant rule, form and fees. Section 8 Information and Undertaking Regarding Foreign Application This section under Indian Patents Act is very important Subsection 1 When applicant alone or jointly prosecutes same or substantially same application outside India or prosecuted by a person through whom he claims or deriving title from him then the applicant shall file along with the application a a statement with detail particular of the application and b undertaking that up to the grant of the patent where he would keep the controller informed time to time about the detail particular of other same or substantially same application filed outside india within 6 months of date of filing The rule that complies with section 8 is rule 12 and the form through which the applicant will furnish the statement and undertaking is form 3. Now this is very important because not furnishing form 3 in timely manner can be a ground of opposition under section 25 1H or 25 2H or it can be a ground of revocation as well under section 64 1m in case 6 months is over then the applicant can file petition under rule 137 or 138 sub section 2 any time between filing and grant in india the controller may ask the applicant to furnish the detail within 6 months of date of communication from him that is date of issuance of first examination report In that case he may ask processing of application outside India search or examination report claim of the application where it has been allowed or may be rejected or any other amendment So section 8 sub section 1 deals with the voluntary action where the applicant will furnish the detail particular of the application when filed outside India and section 82 deals with the controller's action where the applicant is asked to furnish the detail of the application if it is filed outside india now the period of 6 months in case of application corresponding to an international application where india is designated shall be counted from the actual date on which the corresponding application is filed in india and for corresponding foreign applications filed after filing the form 3 in that case the period of 6 months will be counted from the date of filing of the said corresponding foreign application the period of 6 months in case of an application corresponding to international application designating india shall be recorded from the actual date on which the corresponding application was filed in india wipo digital access service wipo das is an electronic system allowing priority document and similar documents to be securely exchanged between ip offices WIPO case system is a system through which patent office securely share search and examination documents related to a patent application in case same patent application are filed in multiple offices patent examiners can increase efficiency and quality of work through sharing the examination result on 12th march 2018 public notice was issued to stakeholder informing availability of wipo das under wipo india cooperation agreement the indian patent office started its operation as an accessing office under wipo case from june 1 2015 and commenced its operation as providing office 
in February 2018. In case any matter is deliberately suppressed, court will decide the fate of the application. Some case laws under Section 8. Hoffman La Roche Limited versus Cipla Limited. This is very important case law under Section 8. Another case law can be mentioned in this case Phillips Electricals versus Sukesh Well. Let's discuss Section 9 Provisional and Complete Specification. Subsection 1 In case of ordinary application, that is not PCT or convention application, a complete specification is to be filed within 12 months from the date of filing of provisional specification or else the application will be considered as abundant. The relevant rule is Rule 13 and the form in which complete specification needs to be filed is Form 2. Other section can be mentioned in here, Section 136 and 138. Subsection 2 for two or more provisional specifications which are cognate, that is one is modification of the other, whole of which can constitute single invention, that is one complete specification can be filed for all those provisional specifications. And that complete specification needs to be filed within 12 months from the earliest provisional specification. The related other section is Section 10, Subsection 5. Subsection 3 under Section 9. In case of ordinary application, that is not convention or PCT application, an application accompanied by specification purporting to be CS, that is complete specification, upon requesting to the controller by the applicant within 12 months from the date of filing, that complete specification may be treated as provisional specification and proceed accordingly. That means an applicant may, within 12 months from the filing of complete specification, convert the same into provisional specification and consequently the applicant has to file a complete specification within 12 months from the date of first filing. Subsection 4 if complete specification is filed after provisional specification or in case complete specification is treated as provisional specification as in the case of subsection 3, upon requesting before grant, the controller may cancel the provisional specification and post date the application to the date of filing of complete specification. The relevant other section is Section 17, Subsection 1. Relevant case law under Section 9 is Tandipak Private Limited versus Oswald Limited. These are the fees regarding the Form 1, Form 2 and Form 3 discussed in Section 8 and 9. Thank you everyone for watching the video. Hope you all like it. Please do like, share and subscribe our channel. This channel is aiming to provide you all the necessary information regarding preparation of Indian Patent Agent Examination. Thank you once again.